Hello and welcome. Today, Board Crazy meddles with the Animal Kingdom again in Animix. Animix is a game for two to six players designed by Matthew Bosu and published by Blue Orange. In this game, players are trying to collect the most cards of different animal species while also carefully rearranging the cards on the table in order to maximize their point haul. To set up, players must first choose which of the eight species they wish to use. There are 10 cards per species, and each one scores in a different way. The number of species used in a game is always equal to the player count plus one. Once these species are chosen, all of their cards are shuffled up and then arranged face up into a grid. The size of the grid is also determined by the player count. The remaining cards are then dealt out face down. With two to five players, each person is dealt six cards. With six players, each person is only dealt five. And any cards left after that point are then returned to the box. Lastly, the mountain tokens are placed near the board and then play can begin with players taking turns in clockwise order. On their turn, a player must perform one of two actions. One action is to simply take a card from their hand and place it face down in front of them. The op other option is to take a card from the grid on the center of the table and then place that face down in front of them. When this latter option is chosen, the players then must take another card from their hand and fill in the space they made and then place a mountain token on that card in order to lock it in place for the rest of the game. Once all players' hands are empty, the game is over, and then everyone flips over the card that they've all placed face down. The player who has collected the most cards of a single species is the only one who will be able to score for that species. In the event of a tie, the points of that species are shared evenly between the tied players. How many points each species scores is determined by the final position of the cards on the grid. For example, monkeys score two points for each monkey card in the column with the most monkeys, while elephants work the same way, but with rows. Then players simply add up the points for the species they control, and the player with the most total points is the winner of the game. It's as simple as that. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started here, uh, I think it's only proper that we introduce ourselves, as we always do. I'm D. And I am joined for this game of Animix by... Uh, I got nothing, nothing funny to say, so I'm just going to say my name. I'm Will. Hello, Good. everyone. Great. Thank you. Hi, Will. Yeah, I struggled. I was thinking Chex Mix. I got nothing. I'm yeah. just hungry, I guess, is mm -hmm. what we learned. Before we get started, also, I think we should, you know, tell people what we're using here. Two-player game, three species. The three species we're using are going to be elephants, pelicans, and wolves. The classic triumvirate. So the elephants, D. Yeah. With the brown borders here. Mm -hmm. What do they do? Uh, you get two points uh, for every elephant in the row with the most elephants at the end of the game. The wolves here with the blue. Two points boards. for each wolf card on a border. So you want them on the outside. Yes. And then lastly, pelicans with the yellow borders That's here. The mo you get two points for each pelican card in the largest cluster of diagonally connected pelicans. So we could technically kind of like checker them throughout the whole game, couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, there's only so many cards, but yes, you could. Uh, okay, so we, all have our, we have our six cards here. You have to figure out who's going to go first. You want to just do a good old rock, paper, scissor? Uh, I thought we could just fight. We could just fight, but yeah. I don't know if, if, you know, we have the time or the space. Rock, rock paper, paper, shoot, ding. Ah, I always get that part wrong. All right, here we go. <laughs> rock, <laughs> paper, scissor, <laughs> shoot. All right, great. See, I got in your head there. Do you want to go first or I, uh, second? I did that in the 1998 professional tournament. It works. Going first. Okay, great. Go ahead. All right. We're, we're killing for time here, you know. We're, 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 it's a short <laughs> game. It's a very short game. The box says 10 minutes, and that's actually an accurate assessment. I'm going to take Ooh. this wolf mm -hmm. face down. You do not remember that I drew a wolf, and then... Put an elephant. elephant there. Fair enough. I'm gonna just put a card face down for my hand. What's that? That's ah, really... mind game. I've never seen anyone do that like right off the bat like that. Take it, guy, yeah. Mr. Wolfman. What's your favorite? What's your favorite song? With... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right. I oh. forgot the mountain cat. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so dumb. Why don't you say something, guy? That's why I asked. What your favorite song is with the word wolf in the title? Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. That's a movie. Uh, an American Werewolf in London. Uh, that's a movie as well. You could just say Werewolves of London. I, I, I'd take it. No. I think we'll take plurals. It's not wolf. I mean, it's, it's about a wolf. Virginia Wolf? Virginia Wolf was a person. Okay. I'm getting closer, I feel like. 
You're up. You can go mm. while you're thinking if you want, because good lord. What do you take? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember what that was? I don't. No. What's he doing? <laughs> Didn't expect this to be so difficult. I don't know songs. I don't know if there's something specific you want. No, not really. Just came to um, mind. There's not really many songs with elephants or pelicans in the title, so I think you know, wolf. Best chance you got. You going? Okay, I'm taking one of those now. Just taking one of each, I think. Hedging. It's they call it. What an idiot. <laughs> a Wolf Among Us? Is that a song? It's not. What about Killer Wolves? It's a ridiculous thing to say. The Minnesota Timber Wolves. That's a song, right? <laughs> it's a song. That's what they call it. White Wolf. There's got to be a song called White Wolf. Probably. There. I did it. Tell oh. me who the artist is. <laughs> you have to go still. <laughs> it's probably... It's like Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it were Bjork, that would you could probably it'd be worse. It could be worse. Mm -hmm. Nope, no song called White Wolf. I mean, there's a song from the the, the Witcher's original soundtrack called Song of the White Wolf. There we go. So Witcher's Witcher's soundtrack. The Witcher, the uh, the Netflix program, not the not the video game. Oh. Interesting. Fool's choice, no doubt. No, no doubt. No doubt about it. The choice of a fool. Oh. Look at that. Look at this row. Mountaintop. Misty Mountain Hop? Is that the name of the song? That is a Led Zeppelin song. Haha, -ha, why aren't you asking mountain names? I didn't think it would be relevant. Stop! Stop! Like what? Why would you take him from the perimeter? He doesn't give you points. I know. He has two wolves, so I should pay, pay, probably pay attention. So if you have two wolves... Interesting. Interesting. What do you think of that, Strat? Wolf for a wolf, man. Yeah, yeah it's curious. It's curious. Savage one wolf for another wolf. Yo. Uh-oh. You just take an elephant? Maybe. Timothy Elephant? Oh, no, Timothy that's Elephant. Not that's not a good joke. He's a good actor, though. Sure. Why not? What's your favorite Timothy Oliphant, Oliphant picture? I, I mean, you always just say that Live Free or Die Hard was your favorite oh, Die Hard geez. film. That's Mainly because right. he was the villain. Ugh. I don't even remember him in that. That movie stunk. What about Scream 2? Never seen it. Never seen Scream 2? I don't know. Ugh, you're the worst. That seems like a movie you'd really like. I've seen Scream 3. You have? Yes. Why? I don't know. It was on television. I'm just going to put a card down. Actually, I think I have seen bits of... Oh. Yeah. Scream <laughs> seen bits of... Oh. I've seen bits of uh, Scream 2. Why did we choose to play these games in a sauna? It's, it's a great question. Sauna. We probably shouldn't. Ooh, ah, the one negative of having loud air conditioning. <laughs> you can't run it during videos. Also, you're the one who's always insists that we relocate to Ecuador in the summer. Don't understand it. As the board currently stands, elephants and pelicans are equally valuable. Yeah, no. Yeah, they're both worth six points. Fine. Yes. What's he going to do? I'm keeping it. All right. All right. Well, I guess we show our cards. Mm-hmm. Gin. I have gin. I just have regular playing cards. Wait. We tied. <laughs> so wait, so let's just... Oh, hold on. I have three wolves. You have three wolves. Mm -hmm. So we split the eight because there's one, two, three, four. That's two points each. It's eight points. Mm -hmm. So we each get four. Yep. Then I have the more elephants, which is... There's three in this mm -hmm. row. I'm going to say column. So that's six. So mm -hmm. that's, I have ten points. Mm -hmm. I, then you don't... You would win... That and then that's one, two, three. Yeah. That's six points plus four, ten. So we tied. We tied. <laughs> Shall we play again? I think we have to play again, All D. Right. Okay, Will. Should we use different animals or? Yeah. Or we can use the same animals. 
the reshuffle because we had these cards over here that weren't used. Well, we can just use different animals. All right, fine. Let's uh, sort these out then. Is that it? There should be two left. Should I look at them? Nope. Okay, game, game two, two set up. We've got three new animals here in this Aminix. Animix. <laughs> We've got lions. Uh, they work by, at the end of the game, you're gonna, the person who has the most lions will get, uh, when you take 11, you subtract the number of lion cards on the grid and you get that many points. So if there are four of these red border cards on the board, you get seven points mm -hmm. if you have the most. Yeah. Penguins, Penguins. orthogonal. Kind of work the same way as the pelicans, but yeah, orthogonally instead of diagonally. And then the lovebirds, you get uh, four points Which for each, the purple. Each unique pair. Yep. So you get like pairs two don't two overlap. Points here, two points there. So this would this would not count as two pairs. This would no, just be just, one unique pair. They ain't, they ain't swinging. These lovebirds. Shoot! Rock. <laughs> just immediately. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. <laughs> paper always wins. You going first again? Um. Do I have to? No. So cliche. Cliche? Cliche. John Cliche. Aha. Dude, what's your favorite John Cliche film? John Cleese? Non Monty Python? It could be. Or. Oh, but if we're including Monty Python. A it's... Wolf Called Wanda? That's it. If we're including Monty Python, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a holy grail. It, it, oh. The holy grail. If we're not including Monty Python, if we're excluding, then it would probably be A Fish Called Wanda. So not like Hungry? Like the wolf? Right. I know you're a big Duran Duran fan, is what I'm saying, Will. It's a song. Ah. Very famous song. I figured you would have gone with that just because it was the only thing you could think of, but you're not even that smart. I don't know who Duran Duran is. That's not true. They did a James Bond song. No. They did A View to a Kill. Never seen oh, the best one. that's the best Bond movie? I can't say it. I can't bring myself to say it, Dave. Are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's Will doing? He's losing his marbles. What is your favorite Bond theme? This is actually a really interesting favorite one. Bond theme? Man, we really... This, this, hey, what else? This is not this a game... This is a journey we've this taken. This is a thematic game in a sense that it doesn't have much of a theme. So you kind of have to enjoy it and then talk about other things. So? He's probably going to say die another day. going to go with that. No, What? <laughs> Die Another Day? That's what Madonna did. Yeah, I know. I don't even know if the song was called Die Another Day. I'm pretty sure it was. It's I always know. weird when the Bond theme is not the title of the film. Nothing about that was good. That movie. <laughs> uh, Goldeneye's fine. Huh? Goldeneye. Tina Turner. Not bad. See, the one I always remember most fondly, because it was right at that period in my youth where I started to really give a crap, was probably uh, no. World Is Not Enough no. by Garbage, which I think is also yeah, objectively right. one of the best That's ones. That's not bad. The, yeah. One of the best... Ever, if not my favorite to listen to. Skyfall by Adele is really good, too. I'll, I'll listen to some garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I'll listen to some garbage. Everything you listen to is garbage. The Chris Cornell one was fine. I'm just going to play one from my hand. Right in my thing. Good. Cool. I'm glad you did. My chair goes up and down. You should try doing this and see what happens. You just took a pang in. Oh, no. Okay, so he wants penguins. But Why? What advantage does he have? Uh-oh. Backfired on you, didn't it? No. I'm trying to think what D would think. I would think you're annoying. <laughs> you would. You would, that's true. I'm gonna, save, I'm gonna save this for the last turn. Whoa, I mean, I know you're nervous, but sweating like this? Always. I played a card, Will. You're up. I understand that. You know, I will say, yeah, sort of in the vein, if we're, if we're being fair, music-wise, mm -hmm. uh, didn't see it. <laughs> he definitely saw it. Didn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> Beautiful Stranger by Madonna. 
for Austin Powers. Mm -hmm. Not a bad song. No, that's, that's a good one, actually. Better than Die Another Day. Remember in uh, Casino Royale when James Bond stabs a guy in the stomach and he dies instantly? No, that sounds funny. Yeah, it is kind of funny. Because <laughs> then he hides his body in the middle of a room of, of people. It makes mm. no sense. Um, all right. You get one. So you can take a risk. I don't actually care about winning anymore. What you take there? I'm not telling you. You took a love bird. No, you didn't. You took a love bird. No, I didn't. The tension is palpable. How, or is that just the heat? I think it's just the heat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shall I'll we let you take too many lines. I'll let you take way too many lines. All right, I have... Uh-huh. Uh, I, need to, I don't know if it's going to be on camera. I have two lions, mm -hmm. three parakeets, oh. mm -hmm. and one pangan. Interesting. I thought I had a different... I don't know. Makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I ended up with that. I have three lions, two penguins, and a parakeet, so I'm going to win. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> how did I end up... Wait, <laughs> what? Oh, I must have. I must have. So not for lions, I won lions. So it's eleven minus five. That's six points. And then for penguins, which I also won conveniently, I get another ten. So that's uh, that's uh, sixteen points. Well, you get the low. I got though. eight. You got you got eight. Wait, you got eight. I beat you. I doubled you up. You son of a! <laughs> you got me thinking about movies because you knew that I wouldn't pay attention. I didn't even. I thought for sure. You only had one penguin. Nope. I and I thought you had three parakeets. I think that second play I did, I put the penguin down blind. You had only one lovebird? Yeah. So my math in my head, I need to learn, I need to remember the car. Wait, what were these? Are these both lovebirds? No, these are both penguins. Hmm. Whoa, okay. I got that all wrong. Yeah, you did. It turns out paying attention to the game, everyone, is important for winning. Congratulations, Steve. You're the winner. I am the winner. Where's my crown? There is none. All right, great. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. We got, we Anna mixed it up a bit. We did. Had our best banter ever, I think. <laughs> it's hot in here, you gotta forgive so us. So hot in here. Uh, thank you for watching though. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a, a thumbs up. That's always great. If you hated this video, give us a thumbs down. I dare you. <laughs> he dares you. Uh, you, know, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos every week if you liked this enough. Leave any comments you have. It's a very new game. So if this yeah. looks like something you might dig, let us know. We're always glad to get any kind of feedback, though. Uh, and check out our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all down below in the, the description if you want to follow us on any of those platforms. Also, our review for Animix will be coming out, uh, should be next Wednesday, hopefully. Uh, if, In know, and around. Yeah, I mean, we shouldn't be. Middle of next this week. This one shouldn't be super late. This is a super easy game. The review shouldn't be too long, so. But yeah, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, so thank you again for watching, sticking with, with us through this uh, pandemic and our sort of uh, handicap sort of situation here. Uh, yeah, appreciate <laughs> all the support. Yes. Until next time, then. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>